Magazine is back, bruh! Clickbait was right. They should have called, give the trailer, give the shit back to the black man. Ha! Lando is back, bruh! Yes, yes. Calm, calm. Lando! Calm. Welcome have to the Super... Have a scene that says Jedi! Okay, okay. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Welcome to the Super Fan Show. I am the Grendel. It's Today, rap time, baby! I am joined by Wrath. William <laughs> yeah. was so excited by the, uh... By the Star Wars trailer that he is currently standing in line waiting for his tickets. Yo, you gotta do something with William, bro. I'm telling you, that boy's like crazy train. Half the time sounds like he's got a sinus infection or something, bro. Yes, well, we've tried, but I'm glad we've to be sitting next to a real host. Not that punk that I gotta sit to week after week yeah. on the other side of wrestling. <laughs> he, he, yes, he is annoying. That, that but we're here, we're here to talk about... Star Wars, Episode 9. Yes. The Rise, Rise of Skywalker. Skywalker. Where Ryan Johnson messes it all up. And J.J. Abrams is going to bring it all home. He's going to close it out, bro. He wants to show the respect and the honor of Skywalker that he always deserved. Yes, yes. Uh, the funny thing about this trailer was watching it, I really wanted to hate it. But another part of me really wanted to like it, was hoping. But unfortunately, at the end, I just felt indifferent. I, I don't care about this franchise anymore. I don't care about this movie. Mainly because what the hell is this trilogy even about at this point? It's about Star Wars, bro. Yeah, I it's know Star it's Wars. about Star Wars, but the prequels have a plot. It's it's the it's the Galactic Civil War and it's the rise of Palpatine and him taking power away from the Republic and the Jedi. The original trilogy is the is the rebel struggle against the Empire that's been dominating the galaxy for 20 years. But what the hell is this new trilogy about? Uh, it all seems like things that should be happening right after Return of the Jedi, these different factions struggling for power. Instead, it's taking place 30 years afterwards. And it just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Um, and I think part of that comes down to the J.J. Abrams mystery box. Uh, there are a lot of questions in Force Awakens, no real answers. It's like a bunch of cool shit happens, but nothing really of note other than Han dying happens. It's just there. And then in the second movie, you hand it over to a new director who, if you give me a franchise and you say, okay, you have to have these characters in it, but we really don't care what you do. There's no real overall story. There's no really, there's no place we're trying to get. So do what you like, then I'm going to do that. And I know Ryan Johnson did that because he now says he's completely fine with retconning Ray's parentage. Why? That means nobody involved in these movies had a fucking vision Bruh. that they were willing to stick to. Okay, pause. Bruh. What? This trailer did have some pretty amazing stuff, bruh. I want to tell you, Lando's back, bruh. Lando's back. Flying the Falcon. That was sick. I got to see Chewie. Yo, bro, I'm old school Star Wars, right? Old school heavy metal, right? Check out the do. But I'm telling you, I got to see c 3 I got to see R2-D2. I got to see Princess Leia, Carrie Fisher, saying goodbye. Mwah. Love her. My first crush, bruh. I got to see all this cool stuff from my childhood. Yeah. Since Ryan Johnson tried to kill all that crap. But I'll tell you what I didn't get to see. But what I heard, bruh. Was that Palpatine laugh? Everybody's like, oh, Palpatine's back. Dude, that wasn't Palpatine. I've been listening to Star Wars for years. That wasn't Palpatine. That was Kathleen Kennedy getting ready to laugh at all you jokers that were complaining about The Last Jedi. And now all you punks are going to go stand in line and watch The Rise of Skywalker because now all of a sudden we're supposed to believe they give a crap about Luke Skywalker because after I saw The Last Jedi, bro, and what they did to my favorite character, dude, bro, man up. Luke Skywalker was my hero. He went up against his father, like Roth did. Put my father down. Ha! Ah, one, two, three. He was out. Luke Skywalker knocked his father down. Boom! And then they punk him out, make him an old man that doesn't accomplish anything. He's supposed to die as a failure, where he FedExes his appearance on another piece of crap planet that reminded me of, of uh, that Hoth, that Endor planet, but, or the Hoth planet. But, bruh, I want to tell you something right now. Don't care, bruh. Don't even care. You know, can't get me back. You, you, yeah. you said kill the past, Kylo. Yeah. Kill the past. And bro, what's up? Why are you such a wussy? And you can't just go out and fight people. Only people you want to fight are people that's weaker than you. You're trying to run a lady over with a TIE fighter? What the hell is wrong with you? And I thought I was really confused, bro. Because I thought when I first saw the trailer, for a minute, I thought it was like a new porn coming out. Because I heard the heavy breathing going on, like you played at the beginning of the video. But then, I thought it was a Matrix, bro. Because she goes flipping over a TIE fighter. Do you know how fast TIE fighters fly?
Pretty fast. But yes, you make a lot of points. They do bring back all your favorites. Yeah. It's like Star Wars, The Greatest Lando. Hits. Maybe would have been a good title for it. But it is almost like a, an apology. We're sorry we shit all over your childhood in our last movie. But no, in this one, it's the rise of the Skywalker. And we're going to bring back all the good characters. And we're trying to end a saga of nine movies. I think that's something J.J. Abrams said. This isn't the end of three movies. It's the end of nine movies. Well, good fucking luck with that. Because these new movies have shit all over a lot of what's come before like what them. ending, though, bro? I what ending no idea, but ongoing with the Emperor, you mentioned the Emperor, that is the, like one of the few times I have heard literal clickbait in a trailer. I mean, it'll either be some sort of fucked up Force Ghost or some sort of recording, and it'll be inconsequential, and too bad these these movies didn't have a villain like Emperor Palpatine in them. Wait, bro. Um, wait, it wait, it wait, won't wait. add up to anything. Whoa. So I'm not... So you're saying Palpatine didn't ride his ass on that piece of the Death Star when it blew up? It'd be fucking epic if he did. And he's sleeping in like some type of Darth Vader tube for 30 years, and then they pop it open, and he's like, ha 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 ha! Probably not, and if they did, Kylo Ren would probably just cut him in half, because our last villain, Snow, was inconsequential. Uh, That's yeah. why they had to bring back Palpatine. Yeah, the type of Kylo Ren exactly. can't get it done. Exactly. Yeah. It's and speaking of Kylo Ren, I mean there's so much that could have been done. You got like one shot in the trailer, bro. And too, maybe they'll the do more with him in the third movie, but it's almost like there's a lot of good ideas in these movies, but no one has really done anything with them. Like I'd be really interested in how did how did Ben feel when he found out, you know, what his lineage is. You uh, gotta read the books you know, for that, bro. Well it, that's and that's a big problem. A lot of the information is in these books. Okay. I don't mind, you know, uh, novel tie-ins. I don't mind any of that. Expanded universe type stuff. It's great. But if you're going to tell me a story in a movie theater and you want me to come and see this movie, then tell me the fucking story in the movies. It should not be on me to dig in to this, you know, to an to, uh, ongoing story like a fucking archaeologist to try and find <laughs> out what's going on. Yeah. And try to know, well, what, well why, why is this? Who's the First Order? What, the whole who thing, is Snow? The whole why, thing is why crazy is train, bro. Why is going the on? The whole thing is just crazy train. And here's the thing right there, bro. I just want to put a shout out. And thank you to Ryan Johnson and Kathleen Kennedy. Because Wrath used to have one of the biggest Star Wars collections in this city, bro. In this city. And because of it, bro, I've sold most of it. I've paid off some, so much stuff. It's been ridiculous. And a lot of people are like, well, real Star Wars fans, hang in there. No, bro. You broke Star Wars. Luke Skywalker ends as a hero. Yeah, it's and now the way Luke Skywalker looked out, like the vast, last video you guys put out, like he's a punk, bro. He didn't do anything. Yes. He didn't accomplish anything. When Ray went to get in the lightsaber, bro, he needed to get on that sh Falcon with her and go. He couldn't. He wouldn't even break for R2 with the Princess Leia thing. And now I'm supposed to care? When that last movie ended, I thought, oh, wow, the story's over. Ryan Johnson ended it. There's no need to see this movie. What's going to be accomplished? Just to see how awesome Ray is and to say goodbye to Carrie Fisher the last time? No, nah, I already said goodbye, bro. I'm done with this. Yeah. Done. It, it's funny because if you'd told me you know, 10 years ago, that being a Star Wars fan would be basically the same as being a Sonic the Hedgehog fan, you know, just hoping for it to get good again, and it just doesn't, but you just, you hold out hope. I wouldn't have believed you, but at this point I do, because um, you the comment about them changing Ray's parentage, I don't give a fuck who Ray, whose Ray's parents are. I don't care about Ray as a character. I wanted to know and about to be honest, that big tall guy. I don't care about most of these characters anymore. What happened to Snoke, bro? They just killed him. It could I have been an interesting it. story. There could have been something to do with He was the most interesting him. character exactly. in the film. Because he was a complete mystery. Where did he come from? Where had he been all this time? How'd he get all scarred up? Nope, no answers. Maybe in the third movie there'll be answers, but how long is the third movie supposed to be to wrap up all this bullshit that's just floating out there? And that's why I just don't care. The only thing I care about Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of the Bullshit is to see <laughs> just how badly it gets slaughtered by Endgame. Oh, yeah. They come out far enough apart. Yeah. But I wonder how Disney is going to feel. I wish I could Thanos snap when Star one Wars franchise 
kicks the living dog shit out of the other because when Endgame's trailer, uh, when Endgame's trailer dropped, it broke the fucking internet. People are excited about it because yep. Marvel has spent 22 movies building up to this ending, building up to this climax. And to be honest, I am actually interested to see what happens afterwards because I don't think we will ever reach this pinnacle again as far as a movie, or it's going to be some time. Okay. But to see Star Wars, which should be a big deal, if they say it's the end of nine films, we should be excited, and I just don't fucking care. So, technically, Ryan Johnson's last, the movie he did, caused a, caused a civil war between the Star Wars fans. Those who were the new fans who weren't even born when I saw Star Wars, and they want to take a dump on the old school fans. Well, you're not a real Star Wars fan. Bro, I will wrestle every single one of you, bro. I will put the title up against every single one of you, and I will pin you. I will take you down, one, two, three. Okay. You know nothing about Star Wars, bro. Okay. Let me tell you, I want to tell you something right here. Could it, is it possible that the Rise of Skywalker could be as epic as, like, Infinity War, which was the big event that followed Civil War? No. Because uh, I tried, bro. I no, tried. No, because you have, as far as Infinity War went, once again, you had, you had a series of movies leading into it. The stakes kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Going into Rise of the Skywalker, to be a hundred percent honest, just from the movies, because I I don't say let's read the books and the movies, because once again, it's not on me to understand your fucking story, which that's the problem with this trilogy. There was no overarching story. George Lucas did not direct all the original Star Wars movies. He, had, he directed A New Hope, and then he passed on directorial duties to other people, but he had an overarching plot. He knew what was going to happen. For the most part, there were some changes that were made, but he knew where he wanted to get. This trilogy doesn't seem like it has that. It just seems like, whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck. And then we bring back J.J. Abrams, oh fuck, no, can you bro. please fix this? Hold up. The what of the fuck was the very, when this info first came out that they were doing these new movies, bro. They were like, we've got Mark Hamill back. We got Harrison Ford back. Yeah. We got Carrie Fisher back. That was the sales point it for was, me. It was clickbait. Because after those prequels, I was done, bro. I'm yeah. like, I'm done. I've seen all the Star Wars. Star Wars is kind of lame now. It's not as cool as it used to be. But when you bring back all my heroes, I'm like, oh, man. Yeah. I can't wait to see them all together again on the Millennium Falcon. Didn't get that, bro. The funny thing, I felt yeah. hornswoggled. I felt robbed. I will fight you, Ryan Johnson. Yeah. I'll put the belt up at the Metroflex Theater, bro. You want to step in the ring with me? One, two, three. That's all you're going to see. Yeah, the funny thing is they did use bringing back, you know, all of your favorite characters as, you know, the hook to get people in, and they just left out the small print. We're going to bring back all your favorite characters and systematically fucking kill them yeah. one by one. That's why I'm scared for Lando, bro. Kylo Ren's probably going to shoot that ship right out of the sky. You know, um, it's, and that, that so basically is the you're saying issue. though, but basically you're saying this movie, you believe this movie's going to suck. I, oh, I, be I believe this movie can't help but suck. And Rath really could care less, bro, because I'm all because just about the, the rock amount, and roll Because and the amount of time, because the, let's really look at what we have. And that's where I was going before. Without reading the books, just going from the movies, what do I have? I've got two rival organizations, the First Order and the Resistance. Which there ain't much left of them. <laughs> yeah, not much left of them. And they're fighting for control of what? Where did the First Order come from? Well, they were far you know, out and never, never land. I understand that, but the movies don't really tell me that. I'm, I'm not talk going from the books. Where did they come from? When did the resistance start? How did the how did the Republic fall apart in 30 years? Who took mm, it down? Yeah. yeah, I saw the First Order destroy them in A Force Awakens, but how did it get to that point? No one's told me. I have no stakes. And, and I'm supposed to be invested. And see, the thing when you don't quite understand all the stakes that are going on, it, much like in the original trilogy, I didn't know really know how the Empire took power in the original trilogy. Um, you know, I, I didn't know how the Jedi exactly were exterminated. You had to see the prequels for that, but I at least had a character in Luke Skywalker who knew as little as I did about what was going on, and he got to be my vessel as I traveled through the hero's journey. The problem with the new trilogy, or one of the many problems, is I can't project myself onto Rey because she doesn't have any fucking faults. She's not an interesting character. She's about as interesting as a box of fucking cream of wheat. So I don't give a shit about that character. Well, so I'm going to be paying a lot more attention to everything <clears throat> else that's going on and going, wait, this story doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Really, Kylo Ren is the best character they have. Snoke. And bro. even, well, cool. the best character they have that's still alive. 
And even he's a bit shaky. I can't really root for him. It's like at least make up, at least by the end of the second movie, he made up his fucking mind and he wants to be evil. A little too little too late. So we'll get to see him be evil in the last movie, you know, 100%. And, you know, maybe not have any questions and he's putting his helmet back together and what the fuck ever. But that's the problem is there's so much shit that doesn't make sense in these movies if you really think about it. And there isn't really a character for me to grab onto and say, okay, I'm going to learn as you learn, because Ray just apparently fucking knows everything. She shows up, she's like, does this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find good in Kylo Ren and bring him back. It's like, it didn't matter. So here we see, obviously these two, they're not getting along still. He's trying to run her over yeah. with a TIE fighter, bro. But it was you know, we get to see Carrie Fisher and, and then saying goodbye. We get to see uh, uh, what looked like one of those top of sale skiffs flying through and C-3PO and they're all in the back and yeah. see a cute new droid. That was kind of cool. Uh, we get to see Kylo Ren body slam a guy on the ground. I thought that was kind of cool. It was almost like what a rat patent it moved. And then we get to see a, a piece, piece of, of the, the Death, Death Star, Star on a planet and the laugh of Palpatine. Yeah, it's, you know, it, it, but and I, I'm good. watching this, Wrath is just like, that's really cool to see all this old school stuff that are representing, I dig that, but other than that, I just really wasn't excited to see the movie, bro. Like, I remember when the Endgame trailer came out, I watched it over and over again, checking stuff out, all the trailers they've been putting out, I think they've been putting out a few too many lately, yeah. but this trailer was just like, nah, it's Star Wars, and Star Wars really isn't that fun anymore, well, because my, whatever expectations I have, they seem to want to take a crap on them. Yeah, well, you made a good point just by, uh... Well, you didn't really make a point, but you know, you led into a good point from me. <laughs> is by just describing the trailer. You described a lot of stuff happening in that trailer. Yeah, it's a busy trailer. I watched bro. it. There's a lot it's of busy. stuff. And to be honest, going through the last two movies, a lot of stuff happened in those two movies. The point. Not the, the last one. The problem. Uh, a lot of stuff still happened. I was just following. There was a lot of stuff. I'm just following going you. on, and that's the problem. <laughs> a lot of stuff happens, but it doesn't add up to anything. It doesn't mean anything there's no fucking point to these movies and it's really and it really does suck because i was a star wars fan it really does suck to see the decline of this franchise but at least disney has the marvel <laughs> franchise you know what and at least that's delivered you're looking at it bro though from the wrong perspective bro long the wrong oh wait 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 the wrong point of view i stand corrected you're looking at it from the wrong point of view these Star Wars movies, Star Wars is still cool. Star Wars is just, is down. But it proved a point. A point to all you people that worked on that video, the people versus George Lucas. The only person that can make Star Wars films that matter is George Lucas. So the only person you have to blame for this pile of heaping crap is yourselves. Because you bullied George Lucas to the point he gave up on this franchise and sold it to Disney. And if you doubt me, watch The People vs. George Lucas. You all did this to yourselves. And I, I washed my hands of this, bro. Fine point to end on. Bath time, baby. Check out Other Side Wrestling, where you can see my beautiful body oh, every week. Yeah! I'm the Grendel. <laughs> right on, brother. <laughs> That's a real co-host. <laughs> you can take some lessons there. <laughs> right, we're out. <laughs>